Hi everyone, I am so excited but I actually have a yard sale haul to do. Um, I checked the paper this past week and I saw that there was an indoor yard sale at a school. Um, they were raising money for a um, new playground equipment. So I went there and I found some things. It was kind of like a, they had to fill a bag for $5 on clothes and then other stuff was just kind of marked separately. I ended up paying, I think $12.75 was my bill, but that didn't include the games that I got. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I found. I'm going to start with the board games that I got first. Um, first thing that I found, and oh my gosh, this was just amazing to me. I found a vintage Mall Madness board game. Um, I wanted this game when I was younger, but my mom couldn't afford to get it for me at the time. So, I got it now. I mean, I'm a little old to be playing it, but I am going to be playing this. I paid $1 for it, and I went through everything, and it looks like it's in good condition, and all of the pieces are there. So, heck yeah, good score on that. So then, when I was looking on Craigslist, I had seen the advertisement for the sale, and someone had posted a picture of um, just kind of like a pile of stuff that was going to be for sale at this yard sale. Nothing like displayed on tables yet, but just like, you know, a pile of stuff to kind of give you an idea of how much stuff that was going to be there. I had spotted this board game in the picture, and I just, I had to have it when I got there. And this is the Ask Xandar. Uh, board game. I had this when I was younger. I played it all the time. I loved it. It comes with like this um, Actually, I'll get it out and show you guys. It comes with a fortune telling crystal ball and it's so cheesy, but when I was younger, I just I loved it. It was so much fun playing this. Like me and my friends, we wouldn't necessarily play the game like how it's supposed to be played. We just ask questions with this little crystal ball. So basically, you just turn it on, and his little ball lights up, and then you ask him a question. Alright, so um, let's ask the question. I'll ask, do I always find great stuff at yard sales, Xandar? This will bring you much happiness. Well, my yard sale finds do bring me much happiness. So that is the Ask Sandar game. Um, like I said, I had it before when I was younger and I just I had to get it. Um, he was $3. Not sure why that cost a little more. Um, but I got that. Um, also at this rummage sale I got... I found this little notepad. Um, it just looks like this. It's kind of like a polka dotted floral print and it's got a magnetic um, opening and then on the inside the papers have little um, inspirational kind of sayings. There's love yourself for being who you are, smile, it's contagious. Um, I just actually was messaging Stephanie Couponing Girl the other day about smiling so that's kind of funny. Um, this one says be the best version of yourself that you can be. So it's just like little inspirational quotes on paper, but it is by the brand 31 and I paid 25 cents for that. So I thought that was a good deal to stick in my purse. So I got that. Um, I got these. These are the Kiss Acrylic French Nails. Um, these were a dollar. They were actually free to whoever purchased, um, I guess they purchased something at Zulily website and got them for free, but I was charged a dollar, but I don't really care because I like the Kiss Nails and like I said, every everything that they raised money-wise was going towards a new playground, so definitely worth a dollar for Kiss Nails. I found this purse and they had a huge bin full of purses. But this is the only one that um, pretty much interested me. This is a Stone Mountain purse. It is genuine leather, black, kind of like a basic purse. It's my aunt's favorite brand, but unfortunately this is going to be way too small for her because she carries like the large 
um, shoulder bags. But I paid 50 cents for this. And I thought that was a really good deal for a like, genuine leather bag. It's in really good condition. So I got that. Um, the only pair of shoes I found, and these I'm selling because they are not my size, but they are these cute Gap sandals that look like this. These are a size 9. Um, they look brand new. I don't think they were ever worn. And then they just have this little like braided buckle strap that goes around the ankle. So these are only 50 cents. Awesome deal there. And then, like I said, it was fill a bag of clothes and stuff for $5. So I ended up filling two bags. One was a little more fuller than the other one. So I'm going to show you guys what all for clothing pieces I got. So this is probably going to be a little long because I stuffed these bags pretty full. Um, and I haven't looked through these since I bought them home, so I don't even know what I threw in my bag. So this is going to be kind of a surprise for me and you. Um, this first shirt is a Nike dry fit, slim fit shirt. It says, you might be good, I'm better. And it's just like a red short sleeved um, top. I haven't been um, exercising in a while now, so I need to get back into it. So that is a cute top that I can use. Um, I got this shirt. This is a Fila Sport. Um, again, another like workout top. It's black with this like awesome metallic-y pink design on it. And these feel brand new. I don't even know if they were ever worn. And they're my size, so that's awesome. I threw in this scarf. It is brand new. It still has the tags. It was from Pack Sun. It was originally $24.95. And it's just a pretty um, knit, like, I don't know, like a seafoam green kind of color. So pretty. So I got that. Um, I got this scarf. This one's like a chevron print. It's white, black, and then it has some brown in it. And I'm not sure if this has a tag. Yes, this one's from Apartment 9, which is from Kohl's. So, that one's really cute, too. I like that one. Um, I got this. This is like a, just a little thing top, kind of, <laughs> I don't even know what you want to call it, that you just, like, throw over, like, a tank top or something. This is just by Eyeshadow, which is also probably from Kohl's, but it's blue with, like, ruffles, and then the back has this, like, lace floral kind of design. So some stuff I might be selling, some stuff I'm going to keep for myself. I haven't decided yet. These I'm selling because they're way too small for me, but they are New York and Company. Um, just, like, kind of more dressier shorts. They have, like, glitter metallic thread in them, so that's pretty. They're a size 2, which is too small for me. Um, I got this. American Eagle top. It's blue with this like eyelet kind of cut out and the bottoms like ruffly. So that. Like I said, I stuffed these bags really full. Um, I got this dress. This is by Gap and it's just like a little summer dress kind of color blocked. Um, black, purple, and pink and then it repeats the colors on the bottom. Um, I threw in this. This is a maternity shirt. Obviously, I'm selling this as I am not pregnant. This is Liz Lang maternity for Target. Um, and I thought it was really cute, though. Like, if I if I were pregnant, I would wear it. It's like a dressy kind of tank top. So, I thought that was cute, and I think someone would really like that. Um, I got this dress. This is completely vintage. I just threw it in my bag. Um, I've been thinking about selling on Etsy again. I haven't sold on Etsy for a while and when I did sell it was mainly just handmade items that I made but I was thinking of starting to sell vintage stuff. Um, this isn't buttoned up but this is like a floral kind of dress and it's... <laughs> I can just imagine my boyfriend behind the camera thinking like that is the most hideous thing ever. Which I guess it kind of is unless you're into that kind of stuff, but it screams summer to me. Like, I don't know. Vintage 90s summer. 
Um, I got this skirt. This is just by Liz Claiborne, but I thought it was the cutest freaking skirt ever. It's just like a pencil kind of skirt, and it's like a thicker material, so it would be perfect um, for fall and winter if you're like forced to wear nice dressy clothes. I always kind of wish that I had to dress up to go to work, but I'm kind of glad I don't have to go through like the whole nine yards of getting ready in the morning, having to like make myself perfect. I can just roll out of bed and go to work and it's fine because it takes like no effort. Um, I found this Nike dry fit um, sports bra. It's just pink with a Nike logo on the front. Found so much good stuff there. Um, this is just a Victoria's Secret bathing suit top. I could not find the bottoms anywhere. Um, I don't know if I just didn't see the bottoms because everything was thrown on a table and it was just kind of like a free-for-all as far as like digging through it. I don't know if anyone noticed but I lost a nail while <laughs> digging through the clothing. Um, so that's why my middle finger nail is, doesn't match my other nails right now. So like I said, I'm not sure if the bottoms were there or if maybe whoever donated it felt like um, selling the bottoms was gross if they did wear them, um, but it's a basic black bikini top, so any bottoms are going to look perfectly fine with it. So, got that. Um, I threw in this American Eagle tank top. It's just a ribbed tank top. Um, just like something just to wear lounging around the house in the summertime when it's hot. With like, you know, little shorts. So I got that. I got this top. I thought this was really cute. It's by a brand called Recycled Karma. It's pink and it says music is everything and then the bottom is like a high-low. So I thought that was cute and interesting. Um, I threw in this belt. It's just a black belt. It is super nice. It says it is genuine Italian leather made in Italy. Really nicely made. I have no idea um, like who it's made by or anything like that. I don't see any kind of markings. Um, other than that, but very, very nice, very nice belt. So I threw that in there. I don't know if it's a men's belt. It could be a men's belt. It says it's a size 36. Okay, so this is a men's belt. But it's nice. Nice belt. You want this belt? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that was the first bag. Now I'm on to my next bag. Um, I didn't really look at the men's section too much like I did the women's, but my boyfriend found this for himself. It is just a Volcom thermal, like, long-sleeved uh, shirt. And um, dress barn women, or, yeah, dress barn skirt. This is a really nice skirt, but this is for a plus-size lady. This is a size 24. Um, it's just this cute, uh, pleated kind of skirt, um, what do you call this? It's not necessarily houndstooth, or maybe it is houndstooth, but anyway, I got this to sell. Um, I thought it was cute, and I don't know, I thought someone would really like that, so I got that. I found two pairs of pants that were brand new, still had the tags on. Um, the first pair is just by Lee. Instantly Slimming Capris. They were originally $44 and they come with a belt. So they're brown. And I got these specifically to resell since they were brand new. And I also got these as well because they were brand new. And these are by Dockers. Again, also Capris. And these retailed $48 originally. And they're just red capris also with the belt. Then the last piece of clothing I got were these Aeropostale um, Bermuda shorts. These are a size 8, which I usually wear. So I'm going to try them on. They look a little small, though. Um, if they don't fit me, I'm going to see if my best friend can fit them. They might be a little bit too big for her, though. So I'm not sure um, what's going to happen with those. But I thought they were cute. And then after that sale, we went to two other ones. Um, I did find 
two things at the one sale that I went to. It was in someone's garage. She had really nice things. Um, but she had a ton of these Better Homes and Gardens um, jar candles. These real big ones. They were all $2 a piece. Uh, lots of different good ones. There was a s'mores one. But I chose just one of them. And this is the Candy Caramel Pecan. Looks like it was from 2012. And it smells so good. It's definitely going to be great for fall. And I've never had one of these big Better Homes and Gardens jar candles. And typically when I buy um, that brand, it's in the wax tarts, which work awesome. I love them. But I thought this would be great just to burn as a candle because I've never actually tried like, one of their candles. And then she said... Um, she was a nail technician, so she had a bunch of like nail kind of products. But I only bought one nail polish. Um, this is by a brand called Vinique, which I had never heard of before, but it's probably because it's like a, you know, a salon kind of brand or something like that. I paid $1 for it, and it is just a really pretty blue glitter, and it is called Hooray Hirachi or something like that. So that is what that looks like. And I don't know if you can see the name, but okay. Wow. Anyway, guys, that is my um, yard sale haul. I probably will not have another one for a while. Um, typically, there's one midwinter at a fire hall that I will probably be going to if I don't miss it. I got to keep my eye out on the paper. Um, I will definitely probably not have a yard sale haul in a while, but I will still be doing thrift store hauls and other hauls of random fun stuff. So let me know what you think of my yard sale haul in the comments section, and I will see you next time.